when Todd Downing is the latest white male to join the Oakland Raiders coaching staff. And again, some of you will say, wait a minute, they just retained Marcus Robinson. Yes, they retained him. Some of you have commented that they hired him. No, no, no. Marcus Robinson was already on the Raiders coaching staff, assistant defensive backs coach. Now he's defensive backs coach. But he was that close to not being there had Charles Woodson not stepped up and said, if he goes, I go. Fact, okay? So because of that, and only because of Charles Woodson, do the Raiders have their lone black coach on their staff. All of this, and some of you shamefully, I mean, some of you should really be ashamed of yourself for saying that the Al Davis legacy was such that Amy Trask was the first woman and Art Shell the first black head coach and blah, 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 blah. Stop looking at tokenism firsts as if to say, well, they already hired, quote, a black, unquote, so they don't need to anymore. That is where you contribute to the problem. Sadly, many of you are afraid to think critically about what you see in this part of the world. You want to rubber stamp it. You want to apologize for it. And you want to say that if someone is black then and they were hired, then they were an affirmative action hire. The bottom line is a lot of you don't know football. And so you're just like the people who make the decisions in some quarters of the NFL who don't know football, but want someone who they are, quote, comfortable with, unquote. It isn't that they know what they're getting. Do you realize that every quarterback coach in the National Football League is white? All this while the Duke Blue Devils were unquestionably one of college football's most competitive teams and fielded an outstanding out offense that put up huge numbers. Its offensive coordinator, Scotty Montgomery, was black. It does matter what, some, what color someone is when you have a pattern of people thinking that because a person is a particular color, they know more than the other, and when the other person, in this case black, gets the job, the people think that that's some sort of nod toward proper civil rights behavior as opposed to getting the best person for the job. The best person for the job sometimes isn't in the National Football League, but if you know football, you can find that person and elevate them. Eddie DeBartolo did that with a coach by the name of Bill Walsh years ago. He was older, and but white. It's very rare, in fact, difficult to find an example of someone elevating a coach from the college ranks to the pro ranks because they were bright, one of the greatest examples is Pep Hamilton, and he is with the Colts because of Andrew Luck. Thank God for young people, particularly young white people, who aren't contaminated with, for the most part, this kind of institutional racism that some of you want to hold on to. I'm being very blunt in my talk because no one else is. We have to be in order to stop the problem. You want me to stop talking about racism? Stop Racism. That's the only way. Stop these patterns. This is absolutely nonsense. It's absolutely ludicrous. It's absolutely insane. And any sane person would look at what's going on here and say, you know what, this is a race problem. And it is. And not only that, one shouldn't have to be black to point it out. Come on, folks. Get with it.